Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan Moffat here, and uh, today's vlog I'm going to be talking about uh, the role of prayer and meditation and how those two things fit together. And uh, one thing I just personally love about the Bible and that we're, I'm going to be reading from today is it is incredibly honest about the human condition. And so when I hear people talk about, man, the Bible, it just it doesn't speak to today's day and age. It, it doesn't deal with the complexities of a 21st century uh, person, I, I would just contend and say, I think it is the most honest book about the human condition. And uh, today's vlog, I'm going to be looking at Psalm 43. And in this, in this Psalm, you have a guy named David. And David's great because David is so much like us. David, I'm convinced he's bipolar because this guy one minute is saying, man, God is amazing. God is good. God is uh, my righteousness, God is everything. And the next minute he says, God, where are you? And I think that's a lot how life is, isn't it? That at times we feel incredibly close and intimate to God. And man, there are times where the truth is God re feels really distant. And uh, I want to show you what David does in this psalm. So in this Psalm 43, it, it says, Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. And so we got a guy who's crying out saying, God, help me. I'm in a difficult spot. And then I want you to see what he does in Psalm 43, verse 2. He says, you are the God in whom I take refuge. Man, that's an awesome thing. You're the God in whom I take refuge. Next, next line it says, why have you rejected me? And so you got a guy who's divided, right? You're the God in whom I take refuge. And uh, why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? And so David is not just a, a guy who's a rah-rah guy or a rah-rah Christian. He's wrestling with deep stuff in life. And that's probably why you're here on this website is that you're wrestling with the difficulties of maybe your own self-destructive decisions. You're wrestling with things that you have both uh, uh, participated in 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 doing wrong, but you've also probably been wronged. And that's been part of the confusion that's brought you here today. And and so David is just honest about that. And uh, I, I think one of the disconnects is when we treat prayer like a recipe, or I say these words, or I do this thing, and you have a guy who's just being honest. And But I want you to see what he does. He says in Psalm 43, verse 3, he says, send out your light and your truth, let them lead me, and let them uh, let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, and I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. And so David says, I need light, and I need truth. And so if you're struggling through life, and you're struggling through some self-destructive stuff, probably what you need is you need you need light right now. You need to find somewhere where you can hear the, the word of God. You need truth. You need to know which way is up because probably right now you don't know and that's okay. But you need light and you need truth. And then what he does in verse 5 is really interesting. Is he, he turns inside and he asks himself, he says to himself, he says, Why are you downcast, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? And then finally, at the end of this progression in Psalm 43, verse 5, he does something amazing is he actually preaches to himself. He says, hope in God, for I will again praise him, my salvation and my God. And so the progression is acknowledging the difficulty. Deliver me, O God. Acknowledging the fact that you're divided. You're the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? And then the progression after that is, God, send out your light and your truth. And the progression after that is, We've got a man who's preaching to himself. And I remember hearing uh, as a young man, uh, a guy named Martin Lloyd-Jones, and uh, he said, just in a profound statement, he said, most of our sadness comes from listening to ourselves instead of preaching to ourselves because nobody talks to us more than we do. And so if you're hearing your voice the loudest and all it's doing is repeating lies, you're not worth it. You're not loved. You're, you should be better. You're a failure. And that's all it's hearing. Man, you will just continue to medicate your life with all the wrong things. But if you start talking to yourself the way David did, 
hope in God. So hope in God. And so you get the opportunity to influence your life more than anyone. So I just want to encourage you today by the grace of God, the power of God, and by the work of Jesus, that you would hope in God, even in the midst of incredible difficulty. Have a great day. Thanks.